Hi, it's Gary with Successful Gardens. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some barely hot peppers. What do I mean by barely hot? Um, we all know what the jalapeno pepper is and how the heat it can go. And then you get into your serrano peppers or you get into some of those Carolina Reaper or ghost peppers that just burn the taste buds off your tongue. Well, there's some peppers out there that are not your sweet peppers and they're not your bell peppers but they're barely hot peppers. And I'm going to share with you six of the varieties that I have grown myself. Actually, I've grown four of these. I wanna try two new varieties this year. All right, my probably my favorite barely hot pepper is, and it's not even hot at all. It doesn't even have any heat, but it's called Fulju. It is a jalapeno type pepper. This is about the size that will grow, about three to four inches, inch round. This is one of those peppers that I've been known to, throughout the summer, take to work to fool my coworkers by eating them raw. I'll just, sometimes I'll have green, um, cream cheese stuffed in them or I'll just have, have the jalapeno pepper and I'll just take a bite out of it and no sweat, nothing. And I, my coworkers just, wow, just what are you eating? And so this is one of those fun ones to do. Now, I, it's also great to add, but it has the jalapeno flavor to it um, without the heat. I like to add this one to, to salads. It's always fun to, to see people's reactions when, when you show up to a, a friend's dinner or such and you bring a salad and you've got jalapeno ringlets on top and they're just not quite sure what to think about that. And of course, when the salad, when the party's over, you can always see the, the rings of hot pepper that have been pushed to the sides. But had they known that the flavor of what it was, that they weren't going to be hot at all, uh, they missed out on one of the best treats in the garden. Consider growing Fulju, or another name that it can be found is called, found by is called Tricked You. Now, a shishito pepper is a Asian um, type of sweet pepper. Um, but it can offer a little heat depending on where it's grown, what it's grown next to. But they're compact plants, great for containers. Um, their fruit grows about three to three and a half um, inches in length. Um, very slender. We'll start. Sometimes they'll be. Some of them will show just a, a, the start of a lobe um, at the bottom or the tip of of the pepper. And so, but you want to be careful. There is a new shishito uh, pepper out there called shishimi, um, offered by Johnny's, um, Johnny's Select Seeds that has a lot of heat in it. I'm going to try to grow that pepper this year to see how much heat um, is in the shishimi. Normally the shishito um, Asian peppers carry no heat but they can look like they might be a spicy, spicy pepper to eat. You know what the habanero pepper is? There's one that I almost want to challenge somebody to a pepper eating contest with, and it's called the roulette habanero. Roulette, or normally with the habanero, you know, with the heat that just is so, so hot, but the roulette variety of habanero has no heat. Well, I shouldn't say has no heat because when you get into that thin membrane wall, um, you can find a little heat, but not, not anything that's going to be so intense that it burns your tongue off. Um, and so, but very, very thin wall. Um, it's, it has great flavor. They have a, a citrus flavor to them. Um, I like to add them to omelets. Um, they're almost too small to add to salads. When growing this plant, uh, the plant itself will grow, can grow up to about two, two feet in height. And so when you get the, the leaves and the fruit growing on that, if you grow them in pots on your patio, you might want to consider staking them so the wind doesn't snap them off, especially when they become so heavy laden with the fruit. Consider growing the, the award-winning roulette habanero. Another unique pepper in how it grows or, or the 
the shape of pepper. It's called the Mad Hatter. This award-winning pepper from South America um, is just that. It comes from the uh, countries of Bolivia and Peru, and it has the most unusual shape and, and size of any of the peppers I've ever grown. It's three-sided or three-lobed fruits that are it's about three inches in size. They have a crunchy, crisp flavor. and But what's unique about this plant also, or this pepper, is that a very healthy plant can produce about 50 of these little three-shaped, um, three-sided or three-lobed um, peppers on each plant. But consider these plants will need to be staked they can grow three to four feet in height so they can be a tall tall plant so you definitely do want to to stake these plants to help help them grow upright and also to prevent any wind damage to those plants if you like mexican dishes um, the poblano pepper is one of those peppers that is often used in chili rellenos um, it's an extra large pepper. This happens to be, with this being only about four inches, five inches long, this is actually one of the smaller poblano peppers that, that I could find. But um, they are great for grilling, for roasting. But to treat them with an egg wash and to create that Mexican dish of chili rellenos, one of the best things you can get out of your garden. Now, the last barely hot pepper that I'm going to mention is called Cajun Bell. I talked about the the sweet little snacking peppers, you know, the, the, the lunchbox peppers. Cajun Bell is one of those snacking type peppers, but it packs just a little heat to it. Not a lot, but you know that it's not a necessarily a sweet pepper, um, but it's a perfect blend of sweetness and with a little heat. They grow up to about three inches in length. They're again snacking, great for snacking if you like. Can be used for snacking if you like a little heat um, with your peppers. Um, they range in color from green, yellows, oranges, reds, scarlets, um, but they're great to add to any, any uh, type of salad, um, add to your stir fries. And one of the nicest things about the Cajun Bell is it's perfect for the patio. It's a good container sized pepper. It's a compact, compact plant that will only grow about 18 inches tall, but will give you heavy yields. So consider Cajun Bell if you want just a little heat in your peppers. Now, there's a lot more non-heated peppers out there. Um, I'm sure I've missed several, but what barely hot peppers do you like to grow? Do you even worry or waste your time growing some barely hot peppers? Leave those varieties down below in the comments. And thanks for watching this video on, on those on peppers. Until next time, this is Gary with Successful Gardens. And remember, let's get growing.